Brian. I haven't declared my major yet. I guess I'm bipolar in terms of my interests. Hi, I'm Ben Glass, and unlike Brian, I'm actually literally bipolar. On a scale from one to 100, what do you think your level of functioning is? One. I'm bipolar, ADHD, you name it, I've got it. If you want to be rude, you can get out of my car right now. I want justice! Do you think that college is the best thing for you right now? You need to be more social. I'm going to a strip club tonight. Strip clubs are not the best place to meet girls. I can't meet a girl in real life. I'm a model. Every Friday night, you can catch me doing body sushi at a strip club. I'm gonna have one order the happy end of Get away from her! So, what do you do when you're not starting fights in public? I was wrongfully kicked out of school and making a movie to prove my innocence. I make movies too. Loser. We should get married. On a scale of 1 to 100, what do you think your level of functioning is? 100. My name is Aaron Fisher. Um, I wrote, directed, starred in, and edited uh, my debut feature film, Inside the Rain, which I'm very excited about to uh, talk about. I play the part of uh, Benjamin Glass, and it's a romantic comedy, and it's loosely autobiographical. You know, I wanted to tell a story, but I didn't know what the story was. I just knew I had to tell the story. I felt like I would die if I didn't. It felt like a life or death situation. Um, and I also felt like Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate, which is a film I love, and I was feeling like him so I wanted to write a script that was like The Graduate. Um, so when I set out, I, uh, you know, for the first three or four months writing the script, you know, everything I wrote I thought was so bad, so cliched, so not funny, just bad. I got so depressed, I was so down on myself. I got so depressed that I literally um, voluntarily checked myself into a psych ward for two months uh, where I did ECT which stands for electroconvulsive therapy. It's where they shock your brain uh, into being less depressed. And you know, I had to do that three times a week for a couple months, uh, which is not, not fun. So, and then when I got out and I started to think about the script again, the basic idea of the hint of a premise for the movie about this school hearing that takes place hit me. And I was thinking, that's interesting, but I, don't, I really don't want to write about that. And I ended up, you know, thinking like, I don't want to write about the most traumatic, most shameful, most embarrassing, you know, moments of my life. Like I didn't want to share that with everyone. I was more committed though to telling a good story. And ultimately when I was writing my story, it started to become a much better story. Over the process of writing for three and a half years to, to four years, that, that it just became more and more autobiographical. I know many of the best writer directors on this planet. Spike Lee, P.T. Anderson, Paul Thomas to me. Martin Scorsese, Marty to me. Bob Fosse, and I'll tell you something. You are as good as the best of them. Yeah. Even though you're only 25 years old. So, got any plans? Well, I need to make this movie to prove my innocence. You wanna make a film? I just happen to be a film producer. Uh, there was improv all the time with Aaron because Aaron is an artist. Aaron is an open book to what do you want to give me? And. Uh, and he's also very gentle. Eric Roberts is so funny, man. He does this scene in, the, in his uh, mom's garage. Um, I, there were so many takes that I couldn't use when it was like a master shot of both of us because I was laughing way too hard. I was like, like I, I couldn't stop laughing. Um, my brother and I had made a bunch of sh uh, short student films together where I was the writer, director, star, and editor. I was disappointed by, by all of them because there was always something wrong with it. I didn't like it. And I felt like they were all failures. And it was actually good luck because I think you learn more from your failures than your successes. So 
you know, I, I made every time I made a short film, it was better than the previous one, but still it was not working. And so I learned from every, every uh, mistake I made. And then I got, it prepared me to do this feature film where I was doing the writing, directing, starring and editing, but just on a larger scale. With bipolar people, most of the time they get depressed just because, purely because of a chemical imbalance in their brain. Like myself, I'm bipolar, obviously. You know, it took a while to get to this 18 uh, prescription medications a day uh, drug cocktail, which has allowed me to function as an adult. It allowed me to write the script for this movie. It allowed me to direct and act and edit. And even now, just promoting the movie, I wouldn't be able to do this without the medications. I believe this project is going to be very valuable in the understanding of psychotropics, the understanding of that whole world. And uh, my part was just fun. I got to have fun. I got to play a movie producer who's slightly possibly sleazy. I've known maybe 300 of those guys. I've worked for maybe 30 of them. So I, so I know them well and had a lot of fun playing them. So I just had fun. But the movie is important because of, of what it addresses. The, uh, we're, uh, we're removing the shame of this, of this kind of thing, of taking psychotropics and what have you. And uh, we've even screened the movie already, and countless people who've seen early screenings have said that they are, they feel represented and understood for the very first time because of this movie. So we did something right. Aaron Fisher did something right. It's a delusional plan to make a movie about this. I'm making the movie, I'm making the movie, I'm making the Stop. movie. No. I know I'll see you, pay. Every time I get intimate with a guy, everything goes wrong. I feel like I have. I just want somebody to take me seriously. Where'd you guys meet? Outside a strip club. That sounds fun. Thank you for everything. Is this what you really want? You have to choose. I'm not doing both.